Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Ogofa Nilungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, thank you for 20,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, keep supporting us. And please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. I'll be more than glad to actually react to what you... um suggest just feel free don't feel shy you can suggest on our instagram or facebook where you can find us under funny and jesse and say hi we'll say hi back suggest stuff there we'll see it you can also check out our second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy the content that we actually put out also you can actually comment whatever you want me to react to down below here and i'll be more than glad to get your feedback on this video get your suggestions under this video or the other videos that we've done in the past and yeah you can check out my blog morning coffee with funny head there and just check it out so today i'm going to be reacting to kabib's quran comment shocked everyone so without wasting time let's get into the video Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. I want you to go into the past like your childhood. What was something your parents stressed more about? I mean, what was that one thing they gave you a lot of hard time? Brothers and sisters, we recommend to love your parents, respect them, value them, help them, give your time to them, do whatever you can do for them. Well, did you recollect that thing your parents were strict about? If you did, Masha Allah, otherwise let me help you with it. I think it was going to school and doing your homework and studying for exams. It would have helped you somewhere in life. You better thank them for it. Maybe you can relate to the fact that your parents are strict about using good words, stopping you using dirty vocabulary you learned from your friends. Well, with all your thoughts on your mind getting nostalgic, I want to share with you the active course of this video. Watch this video clip first. I remember when I was a kid, I was training, I was go to the school to study, and I was uh, study Quran, you know. And uh, only one way my father gave me a very hard time, when I have like uh, bad days with my teacher, Quran, you know. And I'm like, hey, you just coach, you know, but why you... Why you never uh, give me a hard time when I train bad or when I miss training? And my father told me, we living on this life not to become good athletes, not to become like like good teachers or something. We living this life to be good Muslim. And if you... Masha Allah, I don't need to decipher it. It was so wholesome. Here I take, or rather we take, inspiration from Habib's father. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on him. To prioritize the Quran, the word of God, to be disciplined in our schedules with it. We have to emphasize or make note of the fact that his father was his coach. There's so much money in this sport, so much fame, and things we probably can't think of. But his father, Masha Allah, was strict with the Quran classes. Why? Why on earth he was reflecting on this? Brothers and sisters, it's life. His father's advice is the gold standard. We are here to be the best Muslims, even if you are a doctor, but do it for the sake of Allah. With honesty, ethics, integrity and care, being the best in your profession should come under the label of being a best Muslim. Our deepest and greatest concern should be to obey and worship our Lord, our Maker. Learn to keep Allah first, see how successful you will turn out. But I'm not telling you to swap hard work with dua, you need both. Let's make the best of this life. Brothers and sisters, Quran is the everlasting and living miracle of God's final prophet. Not only because it has been free from distortion, but also due to its inimitable eloquence, beauty and style. The Quran has said that it is a guidance for those who fear God. The Quran itself challenges people to bring its like, even a single surah if they can, 
asserting that they will never be able to do so. Subhanallah. In the Quran, God Almighty has stated, Indeed, we have sent down the reminder, and indeed, we will preserve it. Remember, your children don't act on what you say, but they exactly follow what you do. Brothers and sisters, you can apply this example for other things in life. That's how our kids learn. Let's be good examples to them, inshallah, hoping that will add in our scale of good deeds too. That's it for today. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. A very interesting video. Um, the thing about children is they imitate what you do. If you've noticed, sometimes a child will especially if they're always around you sometimes they'll learn your man your mannerisms so if you chew a certain way they pick up that and make it their own habit or sometimes if you're just close to someone even us as as old as we are if we're close to someone we pick up another person's mannerisms as long as we hang out with them a lot and that becomes part of us even without us knowing so for parents out there, I mean, it's up to them and for future parents, it's up to you to um, figure out how you want to raise your child and what example you want to set. Because sometimes you have to lead by example. What are some of the things that you're going to do, you know? Are you just going to be the I don't care type, you can do whatever you want? Or you're going to be the strict parent that's going to say, no, I, I want my child to be raised in a certain way in a certain manner so i'm going to put limits here or there and also putting limits is actually not a bad thing sometimes we, growing up we think it's a bad thing but it saves us from a lot of things that are out there i feel like parents just try to protect us from some of the evils of this world and there's always that time where you grow up and you have to explore on your own learn things the hard way there's always time for that but otherwise when you're under your parents i feel like just go with whatever they say if they say no to you going out then it's a no there's nothing you can do otherwise i really really love the um the contents of this video because you just can't expect to I don't know if you're a, if you're a religious person i believe you can't expect to go far when you neglect god that's why sometimes you ask yourself but i'm doing this why is it that god is not doing this or responding to my prayer you know because you're a religious person and um if your parents can advise you in such a way that you can still work but remember god then your parents are nice people not just parents sometimes it also has to be you because we just can't talk about parents with children it has to be you you yourself what are you doing are you putting in the work to get the results that you want or you just want to sit and pray about uh, a situation that you're not comfortable with always have that faith in god that you will win your next debate you will win your next competition you will win your next whatever it is that you have to win in life then go out there work hard still I really love what he said you don't have to give up anything to do the other you can do both because you need both to i guess succeed um i guess those are my thoughts let me know what you guys think this was really really amazing let me know what you guys think about this video uh your opinion is always welcome if there's something you want me to react to say down below if there's something you'd love to say the comments are always open make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video